Hi there, it's February 2nd and time for Proverbs 2. Let's jump over there. We're using the Good News Translation, which is thought for thought. And we're paralleling that with the New American Standard, which is one of the most accurate word for word translations made. So, it starts the word rewards of wisdom. My child, learn what I teach you and never forget it what I tell you to do. Now the direct translation for that is my son. Okay. A lot of these translations thought to be more inclusive by changing it and I really don't agree with that part of it, but, but that's why we back it up with a direct word for word. Okay. Listen to what is wise and try to understand it. Yes, beg for knowledge. Plead for insight. Look for look for it as hard as you would for silver or some hidden treasure. That. Seek wisdom above all else. If you do, you will know what it means to fear the Lord, and you will succeed in learning about God. I suppose they use fear the Lord over here, and they put show reverence for the Lord everywhere else. It is the Lord who gives wisdom. From him come knowledge and understanding. He provides help and protection for those who are righteous and honest. He protects those who treat others fairly and guards those who are devoted to him. Got that? Verse 9, if you listen to me, you will know what is right, just and fair. You will know what you should do. You will become wise and your knowledge will give you pleasure. Your insight and understanding will protect you and prevent you from doing the wrong thing. They will keep you away from people who stir up trouble by what they say. All right. Knowledge and understanding. All right. Those who have abandoned a righteous life to live in the darkness of sin. Those who find pleasure doing wrong and who enjoy s senseless evil. Unreliable people who cannot be trusted. All right. The world is full of those today. I tell you what. I'm just checking the word for word here from a person who speaks perverse things from those who leave the path of uprightness to walk in ways of darkness. Well, this is a very short proverb, isn't it? Only six, 22 verses. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, we got this. Those who find pleasure doing wrong and enjoy senseless evil, unreliable people who cannot be trusted. Right? Verse 16, you'll be able to resist any immoral woman who tries to seduce you with her smooth talk, who is faithless to her own husband and forgets her sacred vows. If you go to her house, you are traveling the road to death. To go there is to approach the world of the dead. No one who visits her ever comes back. You know that? He never returns to the road of life, so you must follow the example of good people and live a righteous life. <clears throat> righteous people, people of integrity, will live in this land of ours, but God will snatch the wicked from the land and pull sinners out of it like plants from the ground. We're all waiting for that, aren't we? Did they change this? There it is. So, only 22 verses. This is a very short proverb. <clears throat> and we didn't highlight a lot either. Uh, much I learn what I teach you and never forget what I tell you. Listen to what is wise and try to understand it. Yes, beg for knowledge. That. Beg for knowledge. Plead for insight. Look for it as hard as you would for silver or some hidden treasure. Seek knowledge above all else. That. If you do, you will know what it means to fear the Lord, and you will succeed in learning about God. Now let's just highlight that whole thing, okay? Remember it said over in one, the beginning of knowledge is fear of the Lord, or reverence or awe for God. Okay. And they both go together. If you learn reverence and fear of the Lord, then knowledge and understanding and wisdom will come.
you know, hand in hand. Can't have one without the other. Okay. It is the Lord who gives wisdom. All right. Insight and understanding will protect you. Okay. Being smart is good for you. Insight and understanding will protect you and keep you from and prevent you from doing the wrong thing. They will keep you away from people who stir up trouble by what they say. Right. You have insight and knowledge or discernment. You can usually look at somebody and tell that's not a good person. That's not the kind of person I want to be associated with. And your insight or dis discernment and understanding will keep you away from those people. But you have to know when to walk away and just say, you know, I'm not going to deal with that. You know, we get it every day. I mean, there's just even stuff now with social media on the Internet. You see something, you're better off just, you know, oh, I want to tell this guy, you know, just, just keep scrolling, you know, just leave it and keep scrolling you know you're gonna start an argument with a fool and he'll either bring you down to his level or he'll yell and curse and scream and call your names but it never ends well so just keep scrolling that's my mantra for the internet just keep scrolling <laughs> got that God will 22, God, but God will snatch the wicked from the land and pull out, pull sinners out of it like plants from the ground. At some point, he will do that. Yeah. So, there you have it. Short and sweet. Proverbs 2 is very short. Stay tuned later today for our Through the Bible. More plagues from Moses to Pharaoh. Giving him a hard time. Maybe he'll let his people go today. <laughs> but we'll find out. Until so next time, be humble, keep reading. Remember, fear the Lord, and wisdom comes. See you next time.